Come on, Kirito. Is Kirito cheating on Yujiro here? So what's up guys, Fox in here. The first SAO listenization, War of the Underworld teaser trailer just dropped. I did happen to catch it over here at the Anime Expo panel, so taking a quick break from Anime Expo to do this video. So definitely like the video and subscribe for more SAO videos. Ring that bell so YouTube actually sends you my videos. Anyway, let's jump into this juicy SAO breakdown. SAO listenization, War of the Underworld will be coming this fall anime season. In other words, October the first or second week. And yes, I'll definitely be having weekly breakdowns for this SAO season returning, which is only like in three months now. So close. Getting into the actual SAO trailer, keep in mind I will touch on only stuff that you'll find out in this very first episode. The first new teaser animation is Kirito in his wheelchair. Poor Kirito. Recall the ending of SAO listenization, Kirito had just seen Yujiro die. And then the power quickly turned off. Thanks, America. This shot right here actually parallels the SAO Light Novel 15 cover. Once again, poor Kirito. And yes, Kirito's gonna be in this coma-like state thanks to his flock light being damaged. And yes, Kirito is still missing his right arm. This SAO teaser gives you a close-up of Kirito's soulless eyes. Oh, did I say SAO? Time for some ReZero-S suffering to come. Let me just put it out there, fair warning. Don't expect much of the previous Kirito in this Underworld War arc. Next up, you see Alice pushing Kirito through that wheat field. Freaking loved this shot. Kirito at this point has been heavily reduced to being able to do almost nothing. The only thing Kirito is really able to do is cling onto his Night Sky Sword and the broken Blue Rose Sword. This whole scene matches up with a couple of Light Novel pictures for SAO Light Novel 15, which really should be the first 3 to 4 episodes of this war arc. Here, you also get a close up of Alice. After the whole Quinella stuff, there is gonna be this short time skip. Since then, Alice has left what remained of the Integrity Knights. Alice actually went back to the Ruled Village to live with the damaged Kirito, or at least nearby it. Next up, Alice with the Blue Rose Sword, or really what remains of it. You could hear Alice being in deep thought about what exactly they accomplished. Quinella may be dead, but this whole human empire wasn't really left in this great state. Not too long from now, a war is heading towards them. Alice really is lost and broken herself. She's really no longer a knight. And not to mention, you still have the young Alice that died back on that day that also died with Yujiro. That part of Alice is never coming back. Then, getting into this shot of Alice crying and hugging Kirito. This really goes back to what I just mentioned. Kirito has been in this broken state, and Alice has actually been the one taking care of him and living with him for a few months. You can really think of Alice being lost mentally, and really trying to find her place in all of this. And yes, let me confirm, Alice has technically been living and sleeping with Kirito, this Kirito shell for months. So go ahead, cue in the people actually saying that Kirito is somehow cheating on Asuna. Never mind that Potato Kirito has no idea what the hell is going on. Hopefully those SAO trolls will stay away. I doubt it though. Anyway, next up, Alice looking at some burning scene in the distance. This scene should actually be pretty obvious. Not winter, but wartime is coming. And yes, also a lot of pain for your favorite characters. Personally, I am extremely hyped for this. A lot of Alice is coming, a good chunk of Asuna is coming, more Shinan, Leafa. You even have some client action coming up. Pretty much everyone else from the past SAO anime seasons. Unfortunately, if you are waiting for more Kirito stuff like the earlier SAO listenization stuff, let me just say you won't be getting too much out of Kirito. So far, I really have enjoyed SAO listenization so far, although I have had my own issues. Sooner or later, I still want to make a video on the best and worst parts of SAO listenization in the anime version. That being said, I'm now even more curious to see how a lot of these scenes will be adapted into the anime version. I still have my own laundry list of things I hope they cut or change enough for the anime. Most of this stuff does evolve stuff towards the end of the Underworld War stuff. I really, really hope some of this stuff gets changed, or perhaps at least presented in a different way in the anime. On a positive note, some of the upcoming action stuff and scenes in general really give the A1 Picture Studio a great opportunity to make some rich animation and badass scenes. Definitely looking forward to those. My wallet is definitely not looking forward to all those updated SAO figures coming. Still waiting on that Quinella figure by the way. Hell, if they actually made a Quinella figure like in the anime, that would actually push me to go against my no nude figure policy. Anyway, getting into some of the other Anime Expo stuff shown. First off was the top 5 favorite new SAO characters. First off, Yujiro, then Alice, Cardinal, Quinella, and Tisei. I'm only a little surprised to see Tisei made it on the list. Come on, what happened to Percoli? Next up, the top 5 character scenes. Kirito vs Yujiro, Kirito and Asuna, Kirito meeting Yujiro, Kirito and Alice climbing the tower. I'm surprised about that one. And then Yujiro vs Bercoli. So at least Bercoli gets a mention here. I'm only a little surprised not to see Kirito and friends vs Quinella. I guess that was a really drawn out battle anyway. 
Next up, the top five integrity knights. First off, Alice, Yujo, Bercoli, Fanatio, and Eldry. So yes, Bercoli made it into the top three. I think I would only saw the Crimson integrity knight into the fifth place. As for the favorite members of the Kirito harem, hey, Asuna almost tied with Yujiu. Shinan got a little bit of love. Alice is fairly low. Then Leafa is the lowest. I'm actually surprised Leafa even made it on this list. So yes, looks like there's a lot of love for Yujiu, which I'm happy to see. I do have to point out how unfortunately the English side of this and even the English voice actors really keep on hammering this harem thing, which obviously should be a joke, but unfortunately probably does more damage than good. Not to mention some people that don't even want to watch SAO because they think it's a freaking harem. Or perhaps equally as bad, newcomers to SAO taking this way too literal and not getting that the harem part is a joke, or at least that fans like to joke about this stuff. But anyway, this whole teaser trailer was the definition of a teaser. But hold up, more stuff is coming. In honor of SAO's 10th anniversary, Japan is actually having this 10 hour special on July 21st. And yes, another teaser or actual trailer is definitely expected to drop. Hopefully a full trailer this time. Pretty much all the SAO voice actors will be at this SAO special event. That includes the SAO voice actors for Kirito, Asuna, Yijo, Alice, and also Silica, Yui, Suguha, Roni, and Tisei. Only a little surprise to see no Shinan mentioned. Perhaps she was too busy to join up. By the way, in case you are wondering what is coming for the World of the Underworld arc, I did make a spoiler video going into that. A lot of you actually gave a really positive reaction to that video. A lot of you guys told me you felt this was more of a teaser and didn't spoil the major stuff coming up, which was really my intention anyway. So mark your calendars, SEO Lissization, the World of the Underworld, coming October. And yes, I will be doing episode reviews and breakdowns every week, even though I am trying to move away from weekly episode reviews. There's still going to be some exceptions. In the three months coming up, I will be rereading the Japanese light novels for SEO Lissization, this time in Japanese. So I'm definitely looking forward to that. Anyway, post down below, does this teaser make you more excited? SAO Lissization, War of the Underworld. What do you think about the teaser? Was it way too short? Is anyone disappointed about not having much Kirito? And don't forget to like and subscribe. Hopefully now I can get back into doing more SAO content that I'm doing this full time. Check out the other summer anime I'm excited about, and I'll see you guys later.